Good morning, everybody. Today we have a pleasure to be with Zahir Balunis. What Zadr decides to do? The first day I reached Marbella, I said, wow. Ha. And what motivated you? If I have to repeat it, I will not do it. But just before that, I met the French president, François Hollande. Tell us about these places. Mademoiselle, it means mademoiselle. What is your weakness? You really want to know? You have wrote a book about that. You surprised me. Do you want a tequila now? Oh my God. What would you tell us? If you want something, don't be a dreamer. You have to work. Do you think sex is important in life? Come on, Dana. Of course. Slowly, 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 it came. Bam. Are you shy? What do you think? I'm shy or not? Our final question, Zazu. I am your man. No, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you Zazu. Hi, Zazu. Hi, How Dana. are you? Very well. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for having us here and thank you for your time. It's my pleasure. Thank it's you. my pleasure. To begin this interview, I would like to go back to the past mm -hmm. and uh, could you briefly tell us about your experience as a football player? Yeah, uh, I, start, uh, I was young when I decided to become a football player and uh, it was tough, as you know. So I took my uh, luggage and I said, let's go to, to try uh, something. So I was trying a lot of country and everything at, until I reached uh, my uh, target to become professional. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a nice uh, story because it was very hard. Uh, but at the end, I was very, very happy. I'm not uh, like Ronaldo or Messi, but at least uh, it was my work and okay. it was uh, very difficult, but I achieved it. Was your dream like since where you were lay, like a baby? Was was since you were a to kid? To become professional. Yeah. Yeah. To become professional. And you achieved and, that. And I achieved that. Yeah. yeah. And I achieved that. What could you tell us about the um, clubs where you played for Swiss and French clubs? Could is there any happy memories from those clubs? Yeah, I have a lot of memories, yeah. a lot because it was so hard and uh, I travel a lot. Switzerland when I was playing, it was so cold mm -hmm. that you have to put plastic bag on shoes. Wow. Yeah, and my, my foot was blue. And I stayed just two years, I said, I think it's not my... Uh, so I tried to find a bit of sun as well. Uh, I finished in Qatar, as you know. Yeah. And yeah, Malaysia and uh, Corsica. So yeah, I prefer the sun, huh, to be honest. So, but yeah, basically it's like, uh, it was a good experience, you know. It was, I have so many stories, so can take two days to if I if I tell you everything. When was when you started football? How old you were? Eleven when I was very young. But when I uh, I left um, mm. Paris, it was eighteen years old. In the way you become the face of the fight against yeah. uh, modern slavery, right? Yeah. Are you proud that you have told that story? You become an ambassador of uh, human rights. Yeah, of course I'm proud. But if I have to repeat it. I would not do it, you know, because it was very, very hard story. Uh, because at the beginning, the human being, when you are in this kind of country, you see many things happen. But when you have a nice life, you don't see how they work, which condition. But when you start to have a problem and you open your eyes, it says, wow, how they live the people, how they treat the people, you know. And I decide to, to sue the club because I had a problem, contract problem. I decided to sue the club, but of course, I will not allow to leave the country. For exactly, that. So, you were trapped. Yeah. Like, so how would you say, like, you were, it's, let's say you were trapped for there for over a year? Two, almost two. Almost yes. two years. Did you feel like a kind of prisoner? Of or, course, yeah. but I can move. Of I, course, I was, of course, yes. I uh, was free to move, but uh, it's not easy because a lot of, um, yeah, it was so stressed and, uh, you know, I, at the moment I become like, uh, uh, how we said when uh, claustrophobic, you know, yeah. and I said no, I want to leave uh, the country. I want to yeah. come back to my country, and no, it was hard. I will not repeat it, but uh, of course the consequence of that that after that many many TV contact me, yeah. and we put on the spotlight the the condition of yeah. the workers. So, and after that my story would become so famous that they decide to change the rules yeah. to those workers. And of course I'm proud. Uh, oh, yeah, yes. of course I'm proud. And uh, yeah, it's thanks to your voice. There are the people that they've been the same situation. They've been suffering from this. Yeah. They they could see the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and I think it's yeah slowly, slowly. It's other culture as well. And yeah. uh, 
and now because they want to open on the uh, new world, they have to as well adapt the their politic. Yes. And their politic, if you if you like Europe or Occidental country, you have as well to to be a bit democratic, you know, country. And right. and now it's much much better. Yes. Uh, I am, I think, uh, a drop. Yeah, and I changed the uh, yeah, and this I'm very proud of course. Yeah. But it was very, very, very hard. I can imagine. Is it anything positive that you got from there? Yeah, as I told you, they they abolish this system. Yeah, this is something very positive. It opened me a lot of doors, uh, many many contacts. Uh, so yeah. There is something positive, of course. And also, we know that uh, you have wrote a book about that. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, I sold it very well. I sold it very well. So, and in the book, you can uh, and oh, I explain everything. everything. I explain everything. How it was. How I tried to escape from the country. Wow. It was a movie. How I tried to escape. Some friend come from Paris to take a boat in Dubai, and Dubai to come, and I supposed to go to the boat and escape. But just before that, I met the French president, François Hollande, mm -hmm. at this moment. And it was so big, the story, that Qatar uh, decided to release me. And how do you remember that day, uh, 27th of November 2013? Yeah. Yeah, I will never forget, because when I, when I was in the airport in Doha, there is some workers, they were waiting for me. And I came and they said, like, uh, it was very emotional, because they asked yeah. me, Please, please don't leave. Stay with us. Still fight for us and everything. But I, as, well, as well, I was totally destroyed as well. Yeah. And I said, no worries, guys. The, change, the things will change and everything. So, and everybody want to give me the hand and check the hand and everything. So, it was very emotional. It was. Uh, I said, I can do nothing at the end, you know. But after that, I took the the plane. I I reached France. Yeah. The director of the the airport came inside of the plane, I said, yeah, me, I was super, like, uh, stressed with my two daughters, and he said, like, uh, uh, can you follow me? I said, why, you know? I said, I'm the director, I have to, so we go in the VIP zone, and he said, are you ready? Because outside, it's crazy. So I called my brothers, I said, what's happened? He said, 200 journalists from everywhere. And just before the, the door opened, he said, the director, he said, welcome to our country. And of course, you know, you have the board, so you have to give your passport. Yeah. I said to my wife, give me the passport to the police. And the police, they said, no, we don't need the passport. They said, welcome to your country. Wow. Uh, it was very, very strong. And after that, the door opened and 200 journalists in front of me. Uh, very, very strong uh, sensation. My mom on the middle, you know. Yeah, but how can you, I guess, in, you cannot describe that in one word. That no. hug your mom like no, you. No, no, it was you crazy. see, you see, you're free again. Yeah, of course, after two years. Can you imagine? After two years, I took my mom, but the journalists, everyone they want to talk with me. And, uh, and of course, you have to respond. And yeah. I was very, very, uh, like, uh, uh, how you said? How did you feel? What, what was the feeling? I guess mixture of everything. Yeah, I was very, yeah, no, the feeling was amazing to come yeah. back like uh, you release, like yeah. uh, jail. Yeah. It was exactly the same. But at least I saw my family and everything. And uh, but of course you have to respond to journalists who oh. said like, uh, of course I will fight for my right. I will not uh, give up. And, and now this is something good because Qatar they change after this story, mm -hmm. and now we are negotiating to to defend now the 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 image the image of Qatar and to send now the the. Uh, they invite me to go back to Qatar to see now the change for the human for the the workers and oh. everything. So yeah, at the end, all bad experience make you more stronger. So, so yeah, I I learned a lot about this story. Okay, so after that happy moments, mm -hmm. what Zadur decides to do? Uh, because I was uh, I was coming every year to Marbella. Yeah. Uh, I have a friend there, so I was for the summer, and I said one day I would live in Marbella. Yeah. The first day I reached Marbella, I said, wow. It's amazing this city, you know. I hope one day I will live there. And when I finished my career, I said, okay. So I had an opportunity to work in the restaurant with my friend. Mm -hmm. And I came and I think this restaurant, you know him, you know very well because I remember you in this restaurant. Eh? Yeah. The, your first restaurant, yeah. Casa Mono, there Casa was Mono. a mixture of Belgian and French, French cuisine. Yeah. Exactly, yeah? exactly. It was amazing. So, what is the secret that restaurant was so successful? 
uh, I, I don't know, maybe because we are too young uh, guy to manage to run this restaurant. Uh, well, before, of course, they were running the restaurant, but we, when I came, it was uh, when you are two friends, so you enjoy. You enjoy the, yeah, and we enjoyed a lot, a lot, and maybe the energy was, the, the client can feel the energy. But I remind you, huh? You yes, and I really miss it today, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. It was my favorite place. Like, it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. So I remember, like, you coming in, you see Zazu and you see uh, Clemens, but yeah. you always were there. So yeah. I guess somehow this is one of the secrets, right? To yeah. place to work. Uh, yeah, I think so. When you have a restaurant, you have to receive the, the client, like, uh, their, their house, you know? The, so you receive them, and it, it, I think it makes, it makes a difference, yeah. Of course. Do you think the hospitality business in Marbella or just in general as hard as they say? Of course it's hard because it's a uh, work if you don't like this work and you think just to yeah to you do it just for the money or I don't you will not you will do nothing because it's um, it's a, a lot of hours you know you have to a lot of hours there is so many things to have to to, to take care, you know, about the service, the food, the way you receive the people and everything. So it's very, very uh, hard. But if you love it, you don't feel it, you know. Yeah. And me, I'm lucky because I'm uh, surrounded by my partners. Yeah. Uh, so Guy, you know him, from the Belgian guy who started Kazanis. Yeah. Uh, Fabian, the yeah. executive chef. Mm -hmm. And uh, Vincent, which is a guy from New York. I think you met him. Yeah. And, uh, but of course, we are, every day we are talking about what we can do better, yeah. every day, every day. We never like said, no, no, now it's okay, it's done. No. A, a restaurant is never finished. Yeah. Every day there is something to do. And now tell us about that, we know that um, continuing with the unique experience, gastronomic, we know that you also have um, opened the La Plage, yeah. Casanes Bistro, yeah. and um, at the moment where we are in Mamzel, which yeah. is like, I guess, as we say, we were talking before, that's your baby, right? Yeah, Mamzel, yeah. Tell yeah. us about these places. I was new uh, as a restaurateur, you know, and I was there every day during one week. I take it, I take it, you know, and I said, okay, let's go. And I hope the people, they will follow me. Yeah. Of course, La Plage working well, and uh, I was happy. But of course, as a restaurateur, yeah. of course, you can say, I, I take one restaurant, or I want to create. Uh, and it was missing for me another restaurant where I can show all what I have inside. Yeah. Uh, Mamzelle was exactly my dream. So. Um, when I get this opportunity, yeah. I, uh, and I said, the name would be Mamzel. And you know what? Why I, Mamzel? What Mamzel, is? because a few years ago, uh, I had a small paper, and I write all the name if one day I have um, a restaurant. Yeah. Just before I, I take Mamzel, uh, which is old Finca Besaya, yeah. I, saw, um, I saw this paper. I said, wow, it was like 10 years ago. Mamzel, it means mademoiselle. Yes. Okay? Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's a, it was the name, I, I love this name, yeah. and I said, I will call it, if one day it's I have a restaurant. very attractive name, yeah. yes. I will call it Mamzel. Yeah. And I have this, this small paper at uh -huh. home. Okay. Yeah, I keep it, and, uh, yeah, and uh, that's why, because Mamzel, it's a French touch. Yeah. And the French touch for me, because I'm French, it's something, I like it. Yeah. You know, for me, the most important mm -hmm. is the service and the food. This it's my base, and after that the uh, entertainment and the, all this stuff, the the the, the music and everything, yeah. it's something plus that you give to the people. But the people first they come to eat well, and uh, to have a nice service. And I want Mamzelle live for many for a lot of years, you know. So not just for two years, and uh, be a mod and no, they no, change. No, no, yeah. And and for that the secret, I'm sure of that. I'm convinced that it's you have to every day try to make better. And it just opened right before the COVID, that lockdown 2020, that's correct, right? It was terrible. It was terrible before, after all uh, the negotiation to take Finca Besaya and everything. The 13th of March, when they say, because I was supposed to open in April, okay? Yeah. And 13th of March, when uh, I read or I saw on the TV, lockdown. I was on my bed like this during two weeks. I said, I'm dead what I will do because it was a, a huge investment there, yeah. a lot. And I said, wow, I was 
totally lost. And after two weeks, I wake up. This is the life and you have yeah. to... So we wait the lockdown in June, we open again. I said, well, we will open slowly, uh, like La Plage. Since the day one, it's like uh, I was very surprised. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Marbella, the things good in Marbella, it's a small family at the end. Yeah. And the people, they support you. If you yeah. do the things well, yeah. the people come and they support you. And uh, uh, I was uh, very proud of that. You know, that uh, the people support me. They come since the first day. It was hard to have a table. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, huh? <laughs> uh, and what motivated you, those when you know that it's going to be locked down and you're kind of feeling sad, kind of upset? What has motivated you? Where did you got inspiration and motivation to go on without? Because my experience of life, it's at the end you have two choices. Or you give up, or you, you follow your, your way, you know, you, you still fight. And, uh, and I said, no choice. Or I lose everything, or I keep going, and uh, let's see what's happened, you know. And, uh, and do but, the best you can. And you do, you do the best. At the end, if you work, you do the best. And uh, tell us, what is your latest project and in what it consists? If there are any projects, I'm sure there are. For me, the biggest market, uh, it's a market that I love it, it's Madrid. All right. So, yeah, yeah. I, would love, I would love to open something in Madrid. We have many projects as well here. Maybe another beach oh. restaurant, yeah. Or maybe we would like to do another kitchen. And to be honest, my priority now yeah. is the, this, the, this big boat yeah. to make it like, uh, at the, uh, you know, at this moment, yeah. make everything like uh, working because this moment is very hard for us. Yeah. And I'm not thinking a lot to do something else because we are still... You have still, to concentrate uh, of at course, the moment. Of course, yeah. of course, of course. And what do you think this year, now we are in March, what do you think, what do you expect this summer, what do you expect rest of this year, how it's going to be? It depends if, uh, if depend on how I wake up. Ah. Somet sometimes I wake up, I said, it should be amazing this year, yeah. 2021. And sometimes I said, I think we will have the same year like 2020 year. I believe 2022 will be like crazy. But this year, um, I don't know. What do you consider is the most difficult thing in work at the moment for you? To respect the rules. To make like clients respect the the rules, wear a mask when you go to the toilet. Uh, where will be honest? I hate mask. So you will see people say Zazu he can speak, but he's the first one who don't wear the mask because I don't like the mask because I cannot breathe very well and uh, yeah. But I try. Yeah, me too. I try. <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest challenge that you have faced in your life? Uh, for me, the most important every morning when I wake up to give a good education to my daughters. Teach them how to enjoy life. If you can give three advices to your children, to your daughters, what would you say them? If you want something, don't be a dreamer. You have to work. Don't be stressed in life. Nah. But I'm super stressed, man. I'm, I'm a stressed guy, you know, because I want everything perfect. And, but at the end, uh, it's not good. You know, you have to enjoy life with... Uh, and be cool, you know, be cool. Uh, but I'm not like this, huh? Yeah, yeah. But I will give advice to my daughter. <laughs> okay, that's good. What is your weakness? You really want to know? Yeah. Yeah? My weakness, uh, I like chupito tequila. Oh, right. Well, that's not a bad weakness. Yeah, yeah but, uh, yeah. If you come on Saturday, a small chupito, but if I start with one, I can have four or five. But every week, I said, I stop tequila and no more. Every week, you can ask everyone. But why tequila? I don't know, because the people give me tequila and I take tequila. And the next week I came and a first tequila. And, uh, and after that, it's a big Zazu. Uh, yeah. Right. If the service was good and all the, the day was good, you start with tequila. I am your man. All right. Yeah, I am your man and let's go with the tequila. What is the biggest failure in your life? No, uh, maybe when I left Casamono. Really? But yeah, Casamono, it, uh, it was a good, good uh, story in my life. I, I had a very, very nice time. Uh, but of course, after that, I, now I have my new experience That's and it. everything. But if you come back to a failure like I have, I don't know which kind of failure you are talking about. What does the word failure means to you? 
like when you don't uh, achieve something, no? Exactly. Yeah, when you don't achieve something, so... But you always learn. If you don't achieve that one, you learn, you that's move why, on, that's right? That's right, that's right. I'm super fa happy or for all my fellow that I had yeah. in my life. What kind of people inspire you mostly? As a restaurateur, uh, me, I like um, Sandro of the Amazonico Group, uh -huh. Paraguay, okay? Uh, because it's a hard worker, but all the biggest group like Bagatelle, mm -hmm. um, La Petite Maison, uh, Nobu, there is many who did the uh, Studio uh, 54, uh -huh. yeah, uh, this guy, uh, Jan Schrager, mm -hmm. uh, I follow him. That's this in guy New York, right? In New York, yeah. 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 It was the biggest discotheque club in the world, you know, it, uh, with artists, it was very crazy, the club. You have to put something crazy a bit, you know? Yeah. Do you consider yourself a happy person? And what is the happiness for you? I'm a happy person, yeah. I think I'm a happy person, uh, of course. Because, with tequila uh, or without tequila? No, the both. <laughs> the both. Yeah, I'm a happy person. Uh, I'm a happy person, but the happiness for me, it's every day. I, I, the, for me, the happiness is the lifestyle that you, you have, you know? And uh, my lifestyle is it, very good. Uh, I wake up morning, I go to the office, I work, I see my kids, uh, my family, my wife, you know, and uh, after that I do, I do sport and, uh, and by night I go to the restaurant and I work. So yeah, my lifestyle is very good, so I can say I'm happy, yeah. How do you identify a person who is not happy? I don't judge the people if they are happy or not. The experience uh, show me that Sometimes you, you make a mistake about a person and say, wow, this person is super happy and super sad. And as well, the opposite, the opposite yeah. yeah, so. Is it anything that makes you angry? When, uh, how you said, when you are not uh, correct, not honest, you know, it's something I, I don't like. I think the, the life, it's, the communication is very important, of no? Course. If the you, person, there's yeah. something you don't like, exactly. tell me, okay. tell me and don't, uh, and this I don't like when you try to... Are you shy? What do you think? I'm shy or not? You know me now. I don't think I'm shy, no. Oh, it depends. It depends, of course. Uh, it depends, it depends. Yeah, it's true. Before, maybe I was uh, more shy, but no. now, uh, no less. Are you considering yourself a selfish person? No. To be honest, no. What is the one thing that many people don't know about you? I do, I try to eat well and, and the next day I eat uh, like, uh, sometimes, you know, I have a diet. Yeah. And you skip them. And I skip my diet, so <laughs> this is very hard. Huh? So, what is your favorite food? Uh, French food, yeah. French food. French food. What is the important promise you have made to yourself? I woke up, I breathe, I said, today it will be a nice day. So this is uh, something that I try to do every day because uh, we never know tomorrow if you are here or not. So this is a promise that I try to do to enjoy uh, day after day. You With know? today? And today I will enjoy. What is the meaning of life for you and what is your mission in life? To make people around me happy and give them like smile and some uh, good energy. Are you a good friend of your friends? Yeah, uh, I will respond every time my friend needs it, I will respond. What is the friendship for you? The bad and the good moment, no? To be there. Are you one of those who think that people change? Have you experimented that in your life? Of course, yeah. Of course we change. We change with the failure, we change with the, uh, all the experience that we have. And, uh, and if, if today you are angry against someone, maybe in 10 years, because you, you don't like how he is, or, and maybe 10 years it will change. And uh, so never close the door with someone. What do you consider to be a luxury in this life? Mm, for me, really, if we, we can do whatever you want. Not it means to take a private jet or something like that, but living and... To the, be able to enjoy. Yeah, to enjoy, uh, you know, and uh, this for me it's a luxury, yeah. Do you think, is there a destiny already written? Or do we create it with our own acts? I think we create with our own act, yeah. Destiny, yeah. If someone tell me your destiny to be, uh, I don't know, to have 100 restaurants, so I see it and my destiny will do it. No, of course not. 
I don't believe in this kind of things, no. Until now, what was the most important lesson in your life that you learned? Mm, that when something bad happened, yeah. it's for something better. Okay. I, I live it many times, so I believe on this. And tell me, would you do some, what would you do differently if you knew nobody's going to judge you? Very good question. Very, very good question. Uh, yeah, the problem that we have, of course, you think every time like the people will judge you and they don't know you and yes. they judge you. I, I think for me, one of the happiness that you told me before, and when you do, when you are yourself and you don't change for the people, I try to be like that because it's very important to be yourself. If you could share with us a life advice, what would you tell us? <laughs> Uh, you know, then I am a, I am a worker. So everything is possible. Everything is possible. It depends on you, and uh, work hard. Uh, but you know, the people. I don't know if the, when you said work hard, what it mean to to have more money or not, it's not my case. No, no. no, I work hard because I want to create yeah. things. Uh, when you have employees, for example, and you have the, your family become bigger. Do what you love, like enjoying Exa that process. Exa exactly. Do yeah. what you love, enjoy the process, see your family become bigger, and you have people with you who follow you, who believe on your project. This makes me like uh, very, very strong. And that's it, you know, after that, uh, yeah. What do you need to see in another person to trust? Me, I'm working only with the feeling only feeling there is no thing like uh, can show me that I would trust you it's a feeling I have feeling or, or not you know and the, the energy the, the person give me what kind of people scare you most no I don't care about the people uh, if, if, because I, I you know if the people want to do something bad to you do it I don't care about you do it whatever you want to do do it, but I will not care about someone or... If you could change anything about the way you were brought up, what would you change? No, because no, it's, I wouldn't change nothing. Of it's course, good. of course, of course. All my experience when, uh, since I was a baby, like uh, to a staff, and I can tell you many things about that, but I would change nothing. I'm here today, I'm very proud, I have some business. Um, no, I would change nothing. What is the family for you? It's uh, when you cry, they cry. When you love, they love. And uh, this is family, you know. And you cannot be like uh, just your sister or your brother. Can be a friend, can become your, your brother, you know. So, and this is very important. At this point in your recent past, have you felt the most alive and the most passionate about something? Yeah, football before. Yeah. But uh, now it's uh, my passion. In, yeah. Uh, yeah, the restaurant and the food and the, the service and to make better. So I travel a lot to see other places and this is something um, I learn, uh, yeah. What do you enjoy most in life about the working? I like sport. I like sport. As I told you before, I'm, do, I'm doing diet and after that I cannot do it. So next day I will run like a one, one hour and a half to... To lose all the calories all the, yeah. that from the previous day. Yeah, I love sport. I really love sport. Is there something you have wanted to do for a long time and you haven't done it? And why? Mm, because I don't have time, first. Uh, I play guitar and I would love one day have uh, like more time and just play guitar, learn and yeah. Do you think sense of humor is important in life? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very funny guy. Yeah? I'm a very funny guy. With my friend, I'm, uh, I think I'm the craziest person. Any funny what? stories can mom coming out of your, on your mind? Uh, yeah. Yeah, last time I was uh, with some tequila, uh, with a friend. We go on the top of the table. All oh, right. And the table fell down, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And where was that? Friend's house. Uh, what is the most beautiful, the most emotional memory that you keep inside of you? Oh my, when they born my, my two daughters, of course. I was so excited. I said, wow, what is this sensation? It's crazy. It's crazy. You give life. Yeah. 
No, no, this is nothing compared to with this. Nothing. Which member of your family have you learned the most from? My mom, of course. My mom after that, uh, of course, my wife. Without my, my wife, I can do nothing because every time she put me on the right way. And my mom, at the beginning, all the advice she gave me because she were alone with three kids and she was uh, every time fighting. Uh, and I said, wow, it was for me, it's like, uh, said how she, she never complained, how I would complain. And so it was, yeah. What most you like about Marbella, where you currently live? Then I come on, the sun. Every year we have sun. Every year. As I told you before, when, even when you go to, to, I don't know, to Maldives and you come back, you are happy to come back in Marbella, of course. Do you think sex is important in life? Come on, Dana, of course. Oh, come on, of course. It's, 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 it, it's the life. Can you see the difference between who has regular sex and who doesn't? Is very a bit like more frustrated, no? Yeah. yeah they are a bit sad. So, but I, th I think it's your as well your work, no? The, all these kind of things, like uh, how we said, Sexology. sexologist, yeah. yeah, sexology, yeah. So yeah, a yeah. bit frustrated. So our final questions, Azo. What is the key to success for you? The key to success to every time to ask you the the right question, you know, and to accept the critics, of course accept the critics um, and never, never be uh, like uh, in comfort, you know, like you said, no, it's good, the things that the people are happy. No, for me, it's uh, when I, I, I make double, you know, it's very important. And as I told you, when, I'm, when I was in Madrid last week, I saw, I said, I, I, the difference between the restaurant who work and the one doesn't work. And of course, when you come back year after year, the same one work. Why? Because you find the same uh, food on the same plate. There is the same service, same smile. Uh, and this is very important. And you have to uh, transmit that to, to your, your staff, your personnel, who I think uh, they are making very well. But this is very important, Con consistency. Consistency. Yeah, yeah. consistency. consistency. For me, it's, uh, it's very, very important. Well, I have to say, Thank you very much. That was a pleasure. pleasure. I really enjoyed it. No, uh, 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 because after Casa Mono, I didn't see you during a year, you know, and yes. I see you one day and say, I say, what happened, Dana? Yeah. Because I start and you, you were one of the first clients as well, you know, and they were coming often and I was very happy to see you again. And when you told me for the video, I say, come on, Dana, I am your man. I will do the video with you. No, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you Dado. My thank pleasure. you for your time. My thank pleasure. you very much.